Hello everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video I am going to talk about some of the problems that uh, commonly have during the uh, dual booting of Kali Linux and Windows 10. So let's get started. So I had uploaded one video on uh, dual booting Kali Linux and Windows 10 and the most common comments that I had on this video were uh, the problem that the people had during the disk partitioning. So they were not able to see the EFI system partition option for their uh, partitioning of disk. So the EFI uh, partition is very important because the bootloader that is the grub bootloader that is going to be installed on that partition. So in that video I showed that you have to create one uh, EFI partition and you have to set the use as option as the EFI system partition but uh, the people that tried out uh, that on their system they were not able to see that option. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can make that option visible. Okay so I have uh, created one bootable pen drive of Kali Linux 2019.4 uh, that is the latest one and now I've plugged that in uh, on my desktop PC. So now I'm going to start. Okay, so it's booting up. Okay, so uh, here, as you can see on this uh, screen, on the bottom right corner, you can see uh, these three uh, options uh, that are there so these options are available on uh, the desktop but you won't see these kind of options for going into the BIOS or uh, in the boot menu uh, in your laptop so on your laptop if you want to go uh, in the BIOS or in the boot menu then there will be a dedicated button uh, on the laptop but uh, the button location is uh, placed differently for different laptops so now i'm going to show you uh, that uh, button that you have to search on your laptop if you want to go into the boot menu or bios okay so on my laptop that button is as you can see it is this one so there is one uh, microphone kind of uh, sign on uh, besides this button so if you press this button then it is going to open up the window with uh, the options for going into the bios or in the boot menu so you will have to search for this button on your laptop or there might be uh, some different kind of way to go into the bios for uh, your laptop model there can be just a uh, hole given besides this sign then you have to uh, get needle for uh, clicking that button so that is going to be uh, different for different laptops but this is what you have to search for on your laptop and I'll show you uh, that when I click on this button then what happens so here is that button so I'm going to push it and as you can see here and here it's showing me the options for going into the boot menu or in the BIOS setup so this is how you can uh, get this menu on laptop okay so now let's come back here so here as you can see in the bottom corner there is a uh, one option for boot menu so F10 and you are in the boot menu so in the boot menu as you can see that uh, my pen drive is uh, showing here that is the SanDisk one so this is the pen drive which I have made bootable for a Kali Linux installation so just remember this uh, screen and uh, the options given here so as you can see here that there are no options for EFI uh, so there is no option that says that EFI and then my uh, SanDisk pen drive's name and all so there is no option for 
EFI shown here so for you also if it's the same case and uh, even if you have created an EFI bootable pen drive that is no option showing for EFI then you just have to go into the BIOS and uh, enable uh, the UEFI uh, booting so I'm going to show you how you can do that so now let's restart and now I'm going to go into the boot menu so for that I have to press F2 so in I'm in the boot setting and now I'm going to go into the boot tab and here if I go down then you can see that UEFI boot is disabled now uh, before uh, it was enabled so I went down and uh, disabled it to show the boot menu uh, of disabled UEFI booting so now I'm going to just enable it and now we are going to save it and I'm going to go into the boot menu again and show you the difference okay so now I'm going to press F10 okay so now as you can see here that we now have the UEFI boot options here so now uh, I want to show the difference of this one and this one this is without the UEFI so I'm going to just select this option without the UEFI okay so uh, this is the uh, boot menu for the Kali Linux and we have to uh, run the graphical install okay so this is uh, the Kali Linux uh, installation window so I'm just going to continue India continue continue so I'm just going to fast forward all these things and I'm just going to straight away go on to the partition part okay so here I'm going to select manual and here is uh, my free space on uh, my SSD and this is my um, USB drive so I'm going to select it continue create new partition and here I'm going to specify 1 GB and continue and begin and here so here uh, you have to search for the uh, EFI system partition option but as you can see here there is no such option right but we have enabled the UEFI then why still we are not getting that option so that is because we didn't select the UEFI uh, uh, SanDisk option in the uh, boot menu so I'm just going to go back and abort this installation continue and now this time I'm going to select uh, the UEFI option so I'm going to go into the boot menu again F10 and here I'm going to go down so this is the option that we have to select okay so now we are getting a little different window than previous one so we have to go into this advanced option now and here we have to select uh, the install in graphical mode so let me just focus it the first option that says install in graphical mode so we have to select that option Okay, so now uh, we are back into our installation window I'm just going to continue and I'm going to fast forward all this to the 
partition part. Okay, so let's select manual and free space 1 GB and continue beginning and now let's see that uh, whether we are getting that option or not and as you can see here that we are now getting the option for EFI system partition so this is very important that you get this because you will have to create uh, this uh, partition because this partition is where the bootloader is going to be installed so without this partition you will not be able to boot into your uh, Kali Linux system or even your Windows system so this is how you can get that uh, EFI system partition option okay so next common problem that uh, people have is uh, with the Wi-Fi so they are not able to see their uh, Wi-Fi uh, in the installation part or uh, you are not able to set any of the uh, network interfaces like Ethernet or Wi-Fi neither of them then you can just skip that option and you can set that uh, after the installation so if you are having problems with uh, the network detection and your Wi-Fi card is not detected or the Ethernet is not detected and those kind of problems if you have then you can just uh, click here go back and just skip those things and uh, go on to the next step and uh, you know proceed with the installation so even after installation if you are not able to see uh, your Wi-Fi uh, options then you have to uh, download those uh, network drivers uh, in the Kali Linux after the installation but for the installation you won't need Wi-Fi so you can just skip that option if it's uh, not working or not showing or if you have an external uh, card Wi-Fi card then uh, you can just uh, take it out and plug it in on a different USB it might work but still if it doesn't then you can just skip that option so that's uh, one thing so another one is that uh, if uh, it's showing some kind of error uh, that uh, it's not able to uh, load the CD drive or it's not able to load any of the installation components then you just have to abort the installation uh, take your USB drive out and plug it in on a different uh, USB port and try it again because that sometimes happens and has happened to me also so these were some of the uh, you know common problems that uh, can occur during the installation of uh, Kali Linux especially during the dual boot of Kali Linux so it can also occur if you are not dual booting also so so these were some of the common problems and I had uh, got a lot of comments based on all these problems so I thought I should make a video on it so yeah this was that so if you haven't seen my video on dual booting Kali Linux and Windows 10 then I'm going to give the link for that in the description down below so go ahead and check that out as well so I guess that's it for this video this was a little different video than what I usually upload on this channel so if you uh, are new to this channel then you can check out my different videos on uh, web development and I have also a small series on AWS you can go ahead and check that out as well and if you are new then please subscribe to this channel it really helps and make sure if this video was helpful then do like this video and share it and uh, that's it so I'll see you in the next one